Hi guys, welcome to my channel. The book I'm sharing with you today is called Beauty, a retelling of the story of Beauty and the Beast by Robin McKinley. It was published in 1978. As you can see, my copy is a bit worn. Uh, when I pulled it out to read again, my husband said, is this the 10th time then? And he's probably not wrong. Um, I really do enjoy this story. I have read it multiple times over the years. It's different than the traditional Beauty and the Beast, which could be another reason I love it. Um, Beauty and the Beast is by far my favorite fairy tale, so it's kind of cool to get another spin on the story. Um, I love how the author spends so much time letting us get to know Beauty and her family. She has two sisters and her, her dad. Her mom died when she was little. Um, Beauty is a nickname that she gave herself when she was a child. But as she got older, she kind of had a gawky, uh, lanky phase that was really hard for her to reconcile with her nickname. And so it's kind of kind of humorous throughout the story as she really doesn't see herself as being beautiful at all. But everybody calls her beauty. So it's kind of a funny part of the story. Um, the story starts out where Beauty and her family are in the city. Um, they're very wealthy merchants. Her dad owns a shipping company and then um, bad bad luck hits and they lose several ships and her sister's fiance goes missing on one of those ships and it's just a really sad um, time for her family and they end up selling everything and moving to the country onto a farm. Um, and the farm is located right next to an enchanted forest. So that is where the beast is located, somewhere in the middle of that forest. Uh, the circumstances that lead Beauty's father to the forest um, are definitely brought on by magic, which is kind of cool. Um, the beast gives him the choice. You have a month to come back and die or to have one of your daughters come and stay with me and she'll be safe and that's like wait what <laughs> so it was interesting later in the story um, beauty asks the beast you know would you really have killed my father and he said no but if you when he returned home after that if you had sent him to his death you'd never be able to look at him the same the whole family would have just felt shame every time they saw him so I just think that was really interesting um, that whole dynamic is pretty cool. Anyway, she spends time with the beast. Um, she's not able to go home. Um, just the, it, the enchantment that he's under is, is different and more complicated than, um, the regular story, which is pretty cool. And there aren't any, um, talking teacups or anything like that. It is like a, a wind, basically. Um, she has two helpers who can help get her dressed and provide her food and um, they're they're just kind of in a different dimension than she is and where they touch this world you know the world beauty's in um, they're able to move things and help her out it's actually really kind of cool how how the author does build on that there are three parts to the story um, so part three is right there as you can see the one thing about this book that I kind of struggled with is how long the chapters are and as much as I love this story it is so hard to find a stopping place when your chapter is so long because um, you know I'm used to saying oh just just one more page to the end of the chapter I'll just finish this chapter but these chapters go on forever. <laughs> so um, that's one thing I had to kind of reconcile with. But other than that, I mean, I have no complaints whatsoever. It's a super fun read. Um, difficulty wise, I would say along the same lines as maybe Little Women. Um, it's not the easiest read. And I don't know if that's because of the time it was written um, or, you know, just the style it was written back in that time is a little bit different than what we're used to nowadays. But I, I do love reading that kind of a story. 
um, I don't mind the difficult words and things. So uh, just kind of be aware of that. The, the story ends well. I wish there was more detail to the after everything occurs. Um, having it end the way it does is is nice because we can say, oh, happy ending, you know, happily ever after. But I am a person for details. I do enjoy knowing more about what goes on after the difficult times. So that's also one thing. Um, I wish the author could have written a longer book. <laughs> so anyway, I highly, highly recommend this story. And I hope that if you decide to try it, you can enjoy it. We'll put the link below um, where you can purchase this. It's available pretty much anywhere, um, Barnes & Noble or online. Amazon is, is always the greatest place to find anything you need. Um, and leave your comments below if you have any questions or if you want me to um, read a specific book to put on here, and that would be great. Thanks. I hope you guys have a good day.